Hello everybody! So today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite dishes that is also a major staple in any plant-based kitchen and that is ground beef. But not any ground beef, this is Taco Bell style ground beef. And that's major. So for that you actually only need three very simple ingredients. Gardein Ultimate Beefless Ground taco seasoning. I like Garden of Eaton brand and vegetable broth. I actually got this vegetable broth at Walmart and it's pretty good. And we're going to start by adding Gardein Ultimate Beefless Ground to the pan. So I'm going to drizzle the pan with about a tablespoon of avocado oil. And this is over medium heat. I'm going to use about half of the bag, half. Okay, so after one minute, I'm going to add in my next ingredient, taco seasoning. You can use any taco seasoning you like. And for this, I'm going to use about, I would say, two tablespoons of seasoning. It's very important to add the seasonings over the dry heat. The dry heat helps the spices to bloom, which means they develop better flavor. So I'm going to let those spices cover the beef for one minute. So at this stage, if you look at the Gardein package and inst instructions on the back for the stove top, it says to add them to a frying pan over medium heat, stir them around and then serve. Do not do that. I did this cooking method for years and was left with this, what you see right here, which is incredibly dry, tough, chewy, tasteless grounds. I mean not flavorful, not good, just unappetizing. So for the next stage, I'm going to add vegetable broth. So here I have about two cups of vegetable broth and I'm going to add about a quarter cup to this beef. I'm stirring it around and as I'm doing that, it's absorbing into the beef. So it's important to let the beef absorb before adding more liquid. So give it about one minute of stirring between the liquid additions. Once it looks like it's absorbed pretty well, the beef crumbles look dry again, relatively dry, add another quarter cup. It's going to sizzle again, keep stirring. This is a bit like making risotto or maybe braising where we add the liquid slowly. So another round of broth. Stir it around really nicely. So after the third round of broth, taste it. I'm gonna stick a little spoon in here and give it a taste. Okay. This is the point after three times you decide if you want to add more taco seasoning or if it needs to be a little softer. This is actually tasting pretty good to me. Normally when I cook this beef, it takes four to five times of adding broth before I'm satisfied with the texture. But this is actually 
pretty good now on the third third time so I'm gonna go ahead and let it be done okay so our beef is ready and look at this you guys we got a whole taco bell set up the real deal I have a chalupa shell should I do that it's straight from Taco Bell vegan cheddar cheese which is not from Taco Bell <laughs> and some diced tomato so here go This is our plant-based ground beef. Just like that. I have some homemade Baja sauce, which is vegan mayo with some spices and seasoning. Just gonna dollop that right. And look at that. That is your Taco Bell Chalupa. <laughs> How good does that look? My God. The bite. Oh my God. This is amazing. Oh my God. So good. Try this out. Tell me what you think. Bye.